Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Orchard, and we're back with Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. This game had a lot of hype around it, and uh, I don't know, I put, it, I put it off playing it for a while, because I wasn't sure if my computer was strong enough to really record this without dropping a bunch of frames, but it turns out it's a non-issue, and I don't really know why I worried about it in the first place. Anyway, we're going to be playing this game. I'm wearing headphones, of course, like usual, but I have my lights turned off completely. My room is dark as hell. Uh, and, uh, you know, let's let's see how good the atmosphere is in this game. Because that's one of the biggest talking points. So already, this is an ASMR game, clearly. So I'm confused whether she's the one telling the story, or if someone else is telling the story for her. Not quite sure. I was getting wide from both. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? Can I look around? Oh, I can. Mental Health Advisor Paul Fletcher. Yes. Is this lagging? No, this is just, this this kind of seems like it because I'm using a controller. As a controller is what was recommended for this game. I think the darkness changed them, just like it changed her. I'm liking this already, and we've barely even done anything. We haven't. We actually we haven't done anything. We're watching a cutscene. An interactive cutscene. I can see up too. Wow. Is he down? Yes. Kind of. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. <laughs> the place the Northmen call Hells. Turn back. Go back. Go back. It's not safe. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. It's not safe. Stefano Prosperi. Yes. Gavin Costello. These are some nice ass names, dude. What, who has ever been like, oh yeah, I like these people's names? That's my biggest thing. <laughs> Well, this is grim. I like the lighting. Can you feel them watching? Games pr looks pretty damn great. They're watching her. Just visually, it's pretty pleasing. A lot of detail. I am a fan. Rupert Brooker? Nice. Is she talking about herself in the third person or is she something else? I am very confused. You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself. Growing stronger. Towering over her. 
you might try and ignore it. Turn away. It's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. Oh, I should turn my phone's audio off, just in case. A good idea. Don't want any interruptions to such a game. There we go. All right. So, you seems think she's brave to go on this a lot of dialogue is over. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. I want to get off this wild ride. Can we get off the, this wild ride already, please? Can we play the video game? Oh boy, we're gonna play the video game. I at least think so. <laughs> what is she looking at? no going back. You can't tell something. So now, s now <laughs> the narrator is suddenly in her head? I am to go back to and worse to look forward to. Unclear. <laughs> Why don't you join us? I would, but I'm, I, I, I want to play the game now. Can I, can I play the game now? I think I can play the game now. I can play the game now. So what are the controls? Oh, the zoom button. Nice. That's cool. I don't like the blur, so I might change that. Where's motion blur? I don't see any motion blur in this menu. Yeah, these things are obviously off. I think I might uh, go to special effects. Yeah, I don't see anything about Whoa, I didn't mean that. Uh, I, didn't, I don't see anything about um, motion blur here. Wait, you can be somewhere else, I guess. Oh, there's no game settings. Never mind then. Okay, let's uh, let's just go then. It's not that big of a deal. Look really clearly. Focus, Senua. Focus. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. That's nice. The burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate, but gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim Gould? goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. I can see this is a very dialogue-heavy game, because I walk for like two feet and suddenly a minute of dialogue. Oh wow, the game is lagging a lot right now. Okay, I'm gonna turn something down, because holy hell, um... Shadows, I don't care about those. Let's just do it that. Okay. Shadows are boring. I like this view. I don't like the breathing. Okay, I don't even click a button, it just kind of walks over. Is there really no other button than the zoom that I'm using? I don't like 
like this. An ominous looking shadow. This might as well be a horror game because holy shit. I mean, then again, I guess it could be. Oh. Oh, it's suddenly calm. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's stressful. Cutscene. Oh my god, look at this. This, this, is, this is beautiful. This game looks awesome. I missed something like this, you know. What was it he said? You know, there's there's a that new game that has like oh great graphics, and then it actually turns out that there there are great graphics, and it's not like a random talking points that's not necessarily true or important. In this game, it actually is kind of important. It, it helps the effect. And I like it. A lot. <clears throat> you can hear you can a lot of people, actually. Um, not just one person. Dear beloved, Dillian. Dear beloved, D. Dillian. Alright. This is a nice looking beach. I mean, if you ignore the fact that it's covered in bullshit. Uh, otherwise, it's a nice looking beach. You know, I, I, would, I would take a stroll here. If I didn't hate sand in my shoes. Does she even wear shoes? Yeah, she actually is wearing shoes. Ah. Annoying. <laughs> oh, that was laggy for a second. Something rendered. Completely randomly. By the way, uh, since I didn't even say it until now, I am sick again, so, you know, the sniffles are inevitable. Uh, but I'm gonna try to be as quiet as possible during dialogue, which is why I don't really t I'm not really talking a lot right now. Uh, I don't really have much to add to it anyway. So we can go two different ways here. I'm going this way first, because this seems like a side area. Is there a run button in this game? That'd be very nice. Oh, there is! I found the button. This is the only good thing about controllers, to be honest. You can find out what controls, you know, you're supposed to be using very easily, because it's all in such a small surface area and there's so few buttons. So, like, you're gonna find buttons eventually. Oh, yeah, there's another one of these. The world of men they call Midgard. The sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead. So many Heims. Oh, there's a ladder there. <laughs> I didn't even see it. I was like, I'm supposed to climb that thing? That's kind of difficult. 
I mean, I could possibly do it. Why is the voices suddenly, like, encouraging? <laughs> or are, I suppose. English. Duh. Really, we were like, oh no, don't do that. You, you, you idiot, you stupid girl. And now they're saying you don't know where you're going again. Man. She could go. She should easily be able to climb that. She would easily be able to climb that. Don't fuck with me. She would be able to climb that. She ain't weak. She can do it. Uh, I feel like I don't want to be here. But, uh, you know, that's that's the life of such a game. Ooh. Yep, that's that's a bunch of evil bullshit. <laughs> it's dangerous, touch it. By all means, I'm not gonna say no. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Is this a mini game or a cutscene? I have no idea. I accidentally unfocused, but I might have been supposed to. I'm not sure. Oh. Like, did the outline? Never mind, that's not how that works. What am I supposed to be doing here? <laughs> Just holding it, or. You can see the outline on my screen there. I don't know if I'm just supposed to line it up with it or something. Just it's like it's super big. I'm not sure about this, man. Wait, am I supposed to look around for it? Is there an actual purpose to this? Is there an actual puzzle? Oh, wait. Am I supposed to line them all up? Or what? I don't know if I'm just being dumb right now or not, but am I supposed to click the door? No? Whoa. Okay then. Chill out there. Is there another button for me to click for this? Or uh, am I just dumb? Probably just dumb. Cause, like, there's a lot of M's on my screen and I don't know if I'm supposed to line them up or something. It's, I'm unclear about this whole thing. I'm supposed to go somewhere else, or...? Oh! I'm supposed to go even further? Seems like it. Nope. Wait, hold up. No. I don't really want to vote a walk through of Hellblade, but, you know. I mean, I might have to eventually. It's 
Oh. Look towards the gate. The gate will open. Ah. I think I figured it out, even though there's not really much to figure out. <laughs> Suddenly it's blue. That's about it. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. It works. Now we know how to think in this game. And we will uh, be more prepared for another such puzzle. Because that was very confusing. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listened? When everyone else laughed, my people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you. Oh, water on the thing, that's not helping. Ah, shit. Northman will feel out of our eight. Out of our eight? No. I'm never gonna say such a thing again. I mean, technically they aren't real, but they are in your head, so they exist for you. Oh, this is a very impractical bridge. I don't... I guess it's <laughs> didn't even seem like it was broken off. It seems like this was how it was made to begin with. It was definitely tried, attempted to be fixed at one point. Oh, oh okay, she does lean in directions. She actually actually... Um, Make her stand upright. You can't just wish things away. <laughs> oh really? I could get that much on my own. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the all father cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion is sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. Yes, all right. Good to know, good to know, I suppose. There's two paths, I'm gonna go this one first, because this seems like the least likely place to go. Can I go up here? Nope. <laughs> Seems like a pointless spot, but then again, what do I do? What do I know about game design? Another jump down again, and quote unquote get stuck. Oh. Oh boy. Achievement unlocked. The fight begins. Oh boy. Stay back. Look at it. You have to open it. The gate to Helheim divides the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half rotten goddess that walks over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door. She must find it. Shh. Someone's here. Yeah, I'm here. What's up?
Well, shit. Well then, uh, this is, uh... Oh shit, I'm actually playing! I didn't know. Um, how do I... I'm gonna die already. How do I block? Wait, I did something apparently. Oh! What's the actual attack button? I don't know. What's the actual attack button? I can only... I only, I won't seem to only be able to block. Doesn't really help. I don't know what the attack button is. I only, I only know how to block. Okay, can I get the fuck out of here? Oh, I have to click those buttons. Click the face buttons for attacking. That's very silly. I get it now, at least. Attack me, bro. This guy's slower. I can kick too. Whoa. Bruh. What is triangle? Seems to be a power attack. Okay. Oh! Whoa, you are shadow. I don't like that. I can't kill this guy, I don't think. There's shadows. I can't. I can't kill shadows. Oh, this is. Stop! Stop attacking me! I'm dead. I think. Actually, no. This is just the cutscene. Am I actually dead, or... Or what? Oh, still a cutscene. A vision... Of what's to come. Well then. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rocked. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. Okay, also, full disclaimer, the only reason it took me that long to figure out what the fuck to do in the, like, the battle, whatever, is because I'm used to Dark Souls and where only the triggers are for attacks. Well, in this game, you block with the trigger, and you rush in with the trigger, but you only attack with the face buttons. So it's like, the, like, it's just, it doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> So yeah, there we go. I'm not completely stupid. I'm just, you know, the heart confused. Are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon will take her soul. But for now, at least, she's 
still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. Hell yeah. Go Senua. Let's open this damn door and smash. Smash her. Smash her up. Well then, let's uh Yeah. Actually We're at forty one minutes, so uh I think oh wow the doors uh, the, it's done the thing the other one did. But yeah. Uh two gates, we have to pick one. We'll do that next episode though. <laughs> this is a very interesting game. I enjo I'm enjoying this a lot. It's uh quite cool. Um I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to leave a like, leave a comment. And consider subscribing to see more of, uh, I don't know, whatever I upload, I guess. Probably more of this. And uh, until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!